We're with North Dakota sophomore goaltender Tate Maris. Tate, uh, Denver, Colorado, hometown, yep. uh, big city. Yeah. <laughs> it is a little bigger than here. So. Yeah, and most of the guys we've been we've talked to uh, are from small town here, small town there, but uh, you're the the urban boy. Yep, yeah. Yeah. kind of a different change uh, headed up here, but um, love it. Both both sides kind of get a different spectrum. So, you had uh, the high school career playing mm -hmm. hockey in uh, in the Denver area, right. and you were a star. Now, who else was there? I noticed you were all Colorado senior goaltender. Who else was a goaltender in Colorado then? Uh, Who'd you beat out? Uh, well, there was uh, Corson Kramer. He plays for uh, Michigan Tech um, right now. Um, there's a couple other guys. I mean, growing up, um, a lot of guys either uh, chose the high school option or uh, chose to play AAA um, elsewhere. Uh, Richard Bachman was there for a while. High school hockey did pretty good? Um, it's all right. It's getting better. Um, they, like I said, with the AAA programs, that's kind of growing in Colorado, and a lot of kids are uh, uh, kind of switching over from high school to AAA now. But um, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. What made you decide to put on gear and have somebody shoot a puck at your head? Um, a lot of different things. When I was younger, we got uh, tickets to the uh, Denver Grizzlies game. They were an IHL team back uh, before the Colorado Avalanche, um, and really became a fan of Tommy Sallow, who was there. Um, and my mom, she would go to coffee shops all the time, and we'd go and uh, became regulars and became friends with uh, a couple of the baristas there. And uh, one of the guys knew I liked hockey, so he'd shoot uh, day-old bagels at me just when I uh, wasn't too busy. So You didn't play for a year before you came here? Correct. What went on there? I mean, what, uh, was that by of, choice? Uh, no, um, it was, it was kind of tough coming from juniors, uh, not being able to find a place to play. Um, and I just decided I liked it up here. It was kind of a hockey surrounding, uh, regardless of if I was playing or not. Um, joined a couple intramural teams, a um, couple frat houses, needed a goaltender, and uh, shoot, shoot. was able to, to stay on the ice uh, quite a bit. And then um, back when I would go home, my old high school coach would help, help me out, uh, give me some ice time with their, uh, uh, back there. So. Do you think you lost anything over that year? Uh, definitely, yeah. It was, uh, I mean, it was a little harder ramping up to the speed. Um, I mean, my first day of practice was a, was a little tough, but um, you know, this is what I w was working for and, and what I wanted to do. So. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of what I, I learned growing up, being a smaller guy, uh, was just work hard. So, Kate, good luck. Thanks for this. Thank you. It. Kate Maris, North Dakota sophomore goaltender.